Good morning, YouTubes. Say good morning. Good morning from Wiggles and Bowser. And happy Vlogmas Day 10. And say, I'm being the biggest crybaby and I won't leave my mom alone. That's Bowser. Because I'm hungry and all I do is cry and I cry and I cry until I get what I want. Or you make a mess. Do y'all see? All those toys everywhere. I walk out here in the morning and I'm like, what in the world? First off, that toy bag is under was under the tree, so they dragged it out. And then they decide to pull out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine toys. Ten, eleven, because two are on the bed in the corner over there. Good morning, Wiggles. Oh, you're so black, I can't see you. I can't see you. There you are. But, um, yeah, so that's what they decided to do. Yes. It's Vlogmas. So we must vlog. And vlog we shall. And I look probably cray with my hair. But I need to feed the pugs because they will not leave me alone until I feed them. In case inquiring minds were wondering what I feed my dogs, this is Bowser's bowl. And it has the circle in here to slow down his eating because he eats so, so fast that sometimes he chokes. So this here slows him down. And then this is Wiggles' bowl. So fancy with the purple. Um, but um, yeah, so Wiggles gets one scoop of food. I feed them wellness, um, pretty much any flavor. I think I get them the turkey flavor. It's the one that has the pug on it. But it's wellness. It's like an all-natural brand. You guys hear Bowser crying. He's like, shut up and feed me. Um, so Wiggles gets one scoop because she's on a diet. Doctor wants her to lose some weight. So, yep, one scoop of that. Bowser gets one and a half scoops. And no matter how many scoops of food or how much food I feed him, honestly, he doesn't gain weight. So I don't know what to do about that. They each get a pill, a fish pill. So this is a fish oil pill. It's really good for their skin and their coat. And it's supposed to help with shedding. Um, there's also other benefits to it, but... Um, we get the GNC brand, which you can buy at PetSmart, but they get two pills of the fish oil a day, one in the morning and one at night. So this is their morning pill. So they each have one. And then we give them pumpkin, like actual pumpkin. Um, we buy it out of the can. Uh, you could buy Libby's or we just buy the Target brand because they always have a cartwheel. So they each get a scoop of pumpkin because pumpkin is really good for like their skin. So yeah, that is their morning feeding routine. But I'm gonna go ahead and feed them because look at them, just look at them, beggars. Can you guys tell them apart? This is Wiggles, Wiggles. Hello, up top. Hi, oh yes, here we are. Yeah, they're, they're not focused. And then Bowser, who's crying? And he will seriously cry and twirl and twirl and twirl until I feed them. It's pretty sad. You would they my neighbors probably think I torture my dogs because he cries so much. But anyways, okay, time to feed the pugs. So here is my daily face for those inquiring minds. Um, pretty much, I keep my makeup simple um, when I go to work, just because I don't want to do a whole lot of makeup, and I'm like, eh, at least I have makeup on my face, right? So I am using right now the L'Oreal Youth Code, the Pore Vanisher. It's kind of like the um. Crap, what is it called that everybody uses? Is it the is it by Benefit or Too Faced? I used to have it. This is my face box here. I don't think I have it. I have this one too that I use. Um, Pour No More. This is from Dr. Brandt. This is a really good one. Um, crap, I think I don't have it anymore. I forget who it's by, but y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Anyways, basically just vanishes pores. Um, so I've been using this one for about a week straight. This will be my second week. And so far I am liking it. So I've been using this. And then my BB cream from Garnier Fructis, which I love. I use the shade like medium. Um, it's a really good kind of like light coverage. I mean, you can build it up and add more or powder to it. But I love this stuff. Of course, I use my beauty blender with it. And it's dirty. I need to wash it. Um... And then for blush, this is from Physicians Formula. I'm just using this pink one. It is called Rose Pearl. It's not focusing. But yeah, it's just a pink color. It's pretty much always on my cheeks. Unless I'm using my MAC one, which is like a coral color. And then my bronzer. This is like a Too Faced Duo. It wasn't a favorite. I don't think this is going to let me open it. 
Mm, yeah, no, I can't. But it's just the Chocolate Soleil, so y'all know how that is. And then there's like a candlelight highlighter on the other side that I don't use. I just use the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And then this is the concealer I'm using. Conceal RX. Oops set down this is in the shade light and I really like it I've been using it for a couple years but I'm kind of wanting to try a different concealer but I do like this one so I figure there's maybe no point in trying a different one but that's what's everything that's on my actual face face and then for eyes obviously eyelash curler this is who's this from pixie and basically um it's a like an eyeshadow base so your eyeshadow stays on all day, but I like it because it's like a tinted brown and my eyes are super veiny, so I use this to pretty much just cover up my veins and have my eyelids like all one color. So this, I don't really know if it actually keeps your eyeshadow on all day because I've never tried it with the actual eyeshadow. Um, this is from Anastasia. It is their brow gel. My mom got this for me, um, and I do like it, but to me, it's just brow gel. So if you want a brow gel, just go get the one for a dollar from e.l.f. That's what I'm going to do when this runs out. And then I have so many eyeshadows, or not eyeshadows, mascaras, and I'm just using these two. I usually use two different brands. So this is Organics, the organic one from um, Physician's Formula. I don't like it at all, but I have it, so I'm just using it up. Um, I don't like the brush. It's too thick. It gets all over my bottom lashes. I just, I don't like it at all. And then this one is from, who is this one from? Oh, Lancome. I don't like it either. Um, maybe these two just aren't good together, but I don't like them at all. And they're both almost done. So I'm like, yes, go away. Bye, bye, bye. That way I can use other mascaras. I and mean, this is all like my eyes. So see, I have another one of these, which I'm like... Ugh, I don't want to use it because I don't like it at all. But there was one mascara that I can't wait. Like, I have their Real, which I need to try. So this is just a sample size. I haven't opened it yet because, you know, once you open it, time is ticking. But I really want to try this one. I heard this one's really, really good. Um, this is from Too Faced Lash Injection. I don't know if you can see it because the wrapper on top but I really want to try it because when I had Ipsy and you guys know I had Ipsy I got so like there's another one I got and here's another one I got so many here's another one I have so many mascaras it's honestly ridiculous so um I don't know Ipsy was really good for me to try on my mascaras but anyways this is my day-to-day -day face so whenever you see me with makeup on this is what I'm wearing Monday through Friday hey y'all I am home it's four o'clock and we are getting ready to watch state of affairs so this is going to be a really quick honey i'm home because <laughs> my boo oops god these toys are everywhere pick up your toys pugs right now <laughs> my honey boo boo and i are addicted to state of affairs is this in minneapolis st paul mm -hmm. they're in minneapolis mm -hmm. i don't know say hi sweet love hello Moto. <laughs> Do another impersonation. No. No? I'm filming on my actual camera. Um, so let me know. Do you guys like the quality? This whole vlog is going to be filmed on my actual camera. All really? of the Yeah, all the footage so far has been filmed on my camera. Because my phone is making weird noises. Remember? When I film a certain way, it makes a really weird crackly noise. So if we're not in frame... One, that's because I, I can't tell if I'm in frame. And it's been a while since I actually used my camera to actually vlog. Two, let me know if the quality is good. If the quality isn't as good as my other vlogs, then I'll go back to my iPhone. But yeah, so anyways, we're going to watch State of Affairs. And we have our breastfeeding class today. 6.30? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 6.30. 6.30 to 9. So, so yay, breastfeeding! But, um... <laughs> you want me to feed you, honey? I don't got milk yet. <laughs> you might like it. Is this getting weird, guys? Okay. It's getting weird. Alright, All right, so we will check in later. Bye. We are on our way to our breastfeeding class. Nice face, hon. Nice face. <laughs> um, our class is from 6.30 to 9 today, and it's with that same lady that I told you all that I... And when he does that, I don't think we explain. Like, she does that all the time. She's like... Like, I don't know if it's like a nervous tick or she does it all the time. And it's pretty freaking annoying. 
But um, that's just something another annoying thing that she does. But yeah, so our breastfeeding class is from 6.30 to 9. And if you're probably wondering, well, why did you, why are you doing the breastfeeding class if you didn't like her? Well, this was pre-done. Like we, I paid for this, God, how long ago? Right when we found out we were pregnant. So like April, May, like May. Um, Cause it was, these classes are offered through our OB, OBGYN. But anyways, yeah, so we're heading to the breastfeeding and this is the very last, you know, baby type class before we have the baby. Uh, but um, they, everyone was suggesting infant CPR which you get certified in it. So, I mean, that might be a good thing. And it's not her. No. Yeah, no, it's not her. Um, so I was gonna look into that to see, I mean, what do you guys think? Have you guys done infant CPR? Does it really help? My whole thing is like- Holy traffic. Oh, wow, yeah, what's going on there? It must be an accident. Thank God we don't need the highway. Um, my only thing is like, what if you forget? You know what I mean? I don't know, but I mean, Maybe you won't. I don't know. But anyways, oh my god, baby girl is kicking like crazy. Like the past hour, she has been moving and shaking like cray cray. She, oh my goodness. What is it, mama? What? What? I fed you. Um, or I should say, daddy fed you. <laughs> he made some delicious ramen. Um, but yeah, so we're headed to breastfeeding. I honestly don't know what to expect other than it's breastfeeding. But um, I will be sure to fill you guys in on it. Hopefully the class is better. And it's kind of cool because we actually know where we're going. And we know some of the people that are going to be in the Most. class. <laughs> yeah, I think like 90% of the class was going to be here um, from our last class. So that's kind of cool to see some familiar faces meet some new ones I'm sure but um yeah so that's what's going on so we will see you after our breastfeeding class because clearly not gonna vlog in the class <laughs> but all right guys see you later, later. Her butt's we'll come and get her in about six minutes I said how are you doing she says I'm fine then I looked at the gentleman with her and I said I saw oh, them from over here how are you dad I'm not Dan, she's I'm the brother. Dan's at work and he's coming. But. Like the past hour, she's <laughs> like... We just got home from our breastfeeding class and it's after 9 o'clock, so the both of us are exhausted. Um, how did you like the class? Alright, that was good. I was just tired. Yeah, you were tired. You were falling asleep. I actually... I'm tired, but I'm not like dead tired falling asleep. Like last week, I was really struggling to stay awake in class and I didn't really feel like being there. But I actually, and surprisingly, am really happy about the breastfeeding class. Um, I just felt like, I don't know, I felt like we really learned a lot. And like, I mean, she did give us handouts and stuff, but the handouts, she, she actually like followed through, like going through each handout. Because before, she would never go through each handout. She just kind of gave them to us. So we actually went through the handouts. I took a lot of notes. I felt like I learned a lot more about breastfeeding because before with breastfeeding, I honestly just thought, okay, you put the baby on your boob and you feed the baby. Um, so yeah, I really liked it. Uh, we got our um, our breast pump. We actually got the Medela breast pump. So for those that were um, giving input, pretty much all of you said Medela input, Medela breast pump on my uh, hump day bump day. What happened? Broke the hanger. The hanger broke? Some of those feel cheap. Mm -hmm. were a at Target, so. Yeah. Oh well, no worries, baby. No yours. But um, yeah. So we just got the Armadillo breast pump in from our insurance company, which they covered. And a lot of people in class said that their insurance company didn't even cover a breast pump. So I was like, hell yeah! Thank God ours did. Um, so we just got it in, and I was actually looking through it all. Um, before we went to class. So that actually helped with the breastfeeding class too. It made more sense. I really liked it, so I'm glad. And I gave her a good evaluation this time. Unlike um, last week when I didn't. But um, yeah, it was really cool to like see the same people. We pretty much saw everybody I th except I think one couple. And then there was two new couples um, in the class that we had never saw before. No, three. Three new couples. But, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and go say goodnight, say bye, 
and we will see you guys tomorrow for day 10 and we will be 36 weeks pregnant then so yeah so good night i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please thumbs up and subscribe say good night sugar sugar good night <laughs> My poor baby's tired, so I'm going to shut up and go. So, night.